Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamu and peace out to the rest of you. You know who it is, what I'm going to ask you to do and press and why I'm going to ask you to do it. So let me get to the straight to the message. Okay, here's the deal. Obsidian is right. Niggas are illiterate as hell. I know that a lot of white guys and white women are just as illiterate in their first language, i.e. English. Uh, I would say excuse me, but that burp was actually kind of good. All right, so yeah, I, I'm aware that they're just as illiterate in their first language as many of us are. But, like I said, I don't feel a guck about them. Their illiteracy is our advantage as a society. But what about us? Now, before any of you get up and say, okay, see, this nigga's a snob talking about our fluency in reading and writing a European language that was imposed upon us, I want to say that it's it very, very much so true that it is a European language, English is, and uh, I'm not forgiving these crackers for imposing anything on us, including the language. But because today in English-speaking countries, we grew up with English as a first language, I would like to see you ignorant country-ass niggas learn to read and write it fluently, correctly, and what words uh, actually mean. Obsidian was right about that. He was talking about how a lot of black people like to misuse words, and to a certain extent, um, it, we're not, I don't think that we're really that much worse than your average white folk, but if it's going to be English, then damn it, let's use it correctly. Now, if we all get together, if all of black America gets together and decides that we're going to make Spanish our first language, then let's use it correctly. If we're all going to get together and decide that we're going to make Swahili our first language, fine, let's learn it correctly, then use it correctly. Let's agree that we're going to continue to improve instead of just simply uh, saying, nigga, you know what I mean, because that's a dumb excuse. And I'm getting sick and tired. We're all actually most of you listening are getting sick and tired of hearing other niggas say it. But you want to use that excuse when you say something and you misuse some words or you use um, or you use a word outside of its uh, normal definition. Now, literally, a right of first refusal is exactly as Obsidian said, because a right means that there's some sort of agreement or a pre-established rule in place. And in first refusal explains itself. Now, an option of first refusal is not necessarily the same thing as a right, but a right of first refusal is exactly as he said. There's got to be a predetermined uh, agreement uh, according somebody a right, or there has to be a pre-established law that accords somebody a particular right. The right to refuse something first before it can be offered to anybody else. That's all. A tax. He's right. Taxes by definition are imposed by governments. Fees are imposed by people and businesses and governments. Taxes are imposed by governments. That's why when you don't pay a fee, you just don't get a particular service. That's all. You don't pay a tax, you lose something. Even up to your freedom. Unless, of course, you can prove that you just weren't in a category to which the tax was applicable in the first place. I.e., you weren't earning money in that jurisdiction to begin with. Okay, now, but you understand, niggas need to learn to read and write and even speak a language correctly. And I am all in favor of African-American vernacular English. I am all in favor of us having uh, a, a separate and distinct dialect of English from them crackers. However, even if that's the case, then when we read and write in that, there should be some sort of way to do it. Understandably. So with that being said, when you niggas get up here and start writing on social media and you writing in all caps, no punctuation, you niggas are illiterate. Doesn't mean you can't read any writing thing at all, but you're functionally illiterate. You can read what someone else wrote, but you can't write it correctly. If you can't punctuate the end of a sentence and you can't not use all caps Nigga, you are functionally illiterate. You are not as literate as an adult has to be. And it's no use trying to uh, uh, wash that away with, a nigga, you know what I meant. When they get this Facebook and they say no English test, what happens when you actually misspell something? Or what happens when punctuation actually makes a difference? I.e., uh, let's eat. Um, okay, I, okay, here's an example. Three words. Let's eat grandpa. Right there. If you niggas don't put a comma in front of grandpa, 
you're not talking to your grandpa. You're telling someone else that uh, you are suggesting to them the idea that the two of you get together and eat your grandpa in common, the grandfather you and this other person share, the listener. That's the difference. Punctuation does make a difference. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, here's another one. Bacon, eggs, and cheese. I said bacon. A lot of you niggas love that swine. So, uh, got your attention, don't I? I know, I know. Bacon, comma, eggs, comma, and cheese. Means that these things might be on a separate plate next to each other. Bacon, eggs, and cheese means that you got bits of bacon crunched up in the eggs that you fried and some cheese drizzled on top of them all together. Simple things like that. It's not difficult. It's just that you ignorant country ass niggas are too lazy to learn this stuff. And then you want to walk around getting on keyboards like you so damn smart. You might be smart. The fact is an, a poorly written message will undermine the message. It will undermine the content and the point of the message. If you cannot write it correctly in somebody's language, you might as well not make the point. And if you can't use terms with the with the actual definitions, you might as well not even use the term. Could you niggas please think through what you're going to say before you say it and how to properly write it before you write it? That's all I'm asking, because a lot of you are bringing up good points. But. It's not people's fault if they can't know that a point is good because you didn't write it properly. And somewhere, somewhere down there, the meaning actually got lost or there was a question mark over an intended meaning. That ain't the reader's fault. Nigga, that's your fault. And you can't just say, nigga, you know what I meant to clear it up. I hope this has been a benefit. Assalamu alaikum.